What's up guys, how's it going? George Payne here today. Today I have a beer review for you. Today we're going to be doing Hot Shot IPA by Devil's Backbone Brewing Company out of Lexington, Virginia. It weighs in at 6.2% alcohol per volume. Already cracked the top so I don't have to do all these motions and everything like that trying to get it open. It's an India Pale Ale brewed with jalapeno peppers. So, saw this, figured I'd pick it up. Um, you know, probably go go with the channel. Really interested in how it's going to look. Uh, the label, kind of do it like old school, like paper there as you can see. Just like some pen and paper writing. Uh, you can check them out at dbbrewingcompany.com. Check that out right there. Like I said, they're out of Lexington, Virginia. So let's open it up and see how it smells, tastes, see what it's all about. And I'm also going to be doing an unboxing during this video too. Wow, I can smell jalapenos already. Just opening the top, you can smell jalapenos. Wow, that is awesome. So let's pour it. Got the Heavy Seas 20th Anniversary beer glass there. So not too tremendous head, but I didn't really vigorously pour it either. Nice pale orange, goldish color going on right there. Wow, just jalapenos. That's all I'm getting. Jalapenos, a little bit of sweetness from the malt. A little bit of hops going on there too. Not too much. It really smells like fresh jalapenos. That's what I'm really getting. Color's beautiful though. Uh, just gorgeous, gorgeous golden light orange straw color going on a little bit of head going on there too as well like i said i didn't vigorously pour it so i probably could have poured it a little bit better let's taste it see what it tastes like okay so yeah you do get jalapenos right there you get a little bit of spice from the jalapenos tastes like fresh jalapenos you get some of that hoppiness it really mixes together really nicely into a very nice uniform flavor good balance good complexity then you get that maltiness right there towards the end really digging this beer yeah really easy drinking too really smooth nothing harsh about it nothing super bitter I mean it is an IPA you definitely can tell there is hops there there is some of that IPA standard bitterness but the jalapeno definitely balances it out a little bit and gives it a really nice I mean it's it's really good it's really a special beer I like this I'm gonna put that down um, you know really really good drinking beer I could drink I could probably drink a couple of these I don't think I could drink a, a six pack of these all in one evening um, I probably would have to change over to something different but it is a very very good pepper pepper beer I mean that's what it really is pepper IPA and for you chili heads out there that can get it like I said Devil's Backbone Brewing Company out of Lexington Virginia um, you can get it in the adventure pack or if you can find a store that opens up some of the adventure packs and puts them on their shelf and you can get them you know and build your own six pack I highly suggest doing that if you can get it seek it out it's really good um, beer advocate the bros on beer advocate gave it 87 um, so I got a very good score beer advocate currently doesn't have a score for it There's not so many reviews out there for this beer um, But like I said, it's, it's a really good beer. I really enjoy it Yeah, very very good very nice so I Want to get into this unboxing too. Jacob Deathridge sent me something in the mail Got a little small flat rate box here. So thank you, Jacob. We're going to open this up, see what it is. Uh, Mr. Deathridge, Deathridge Peppers out of Tennessee. So I know it's definitely pods. I already know it's pods anyway. But uh, send it out to me. Let's see what it looks like. Let's get into the unboxing. I'm so stoked about this. I haven't done an unboxing in years. So this is really, really cool. I'm really excited about this. Um, let's see. Butch Tea, Boot Cross, looks awesome, so super hot, there you go. I also asked him to send me out some things that weren't super duper hot too, um, so there should be some things in here that are not super hot, um, which would be awesome. This is a purple fluorescent and 
pimenta leopard really gorgeous there's two different peppers in here they're they're pretty so uh, both got some pretty purple going on so I'm guessing these right here are probably the uh, purple fluorescence and those are probably the pimenta leopards right there really gorgeous peppers Let's see what else I got got some blueberry milds right there look at that got good gosh uh, Trinidad scorpions boot stable crossed with a jigsaw good gosh those are pretty massive awesome and good gosh chocolate butch tea crossed with seven pot brown so that is looking gnarly and nasty too so thank you very much Jacob for sending those out check them out death rich peppers out of Tennessee really stoked about doing these can't wait to get into these I probably am not gonna do these peppers the standard way um, you know I'm looking at these I'm sorry this is a long-winded video I apologize I'm really stoked about doing the unboxing drinking a beer with you guys and I'm really excited about getting back into the pepper and chili game and I'm doing some other reviews on here too so I'm gonna take some time to talk about my channel as well but um probably not gonna eat these peppers like I used to um, and I've seen a lot of the guys that were out doing pod reviews and pepper reviews back when I was doing it a couple years ago back in 2014 they're really not around anymore uh, I talked to Stephen McLaren the other night we were talking on the phone and I think uh, I'm gonna start doing these excuse me these pod reviews the way he's gonna do them you know doing some of the pepper not eating the whole pod you know I really don't have anything to prove I'm really trying to do this and a piece of these peppers can definitely tell you how hot this is going to be and what it tastes like. Um, you know, some of the mild, milder ones, yeah, I'll eat the whole thing. But, um, you know, super hot. I'm not trying to burn myself out. I'm trying to do this for fun, have a good time, educate a little bit on the pepper. And that's all I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to have a good time with this. Nothing. I'm not trying to kill myself at all. I'm not trying to prove anything. Just trying to have some fun. Back to beer. Um, let's let's give it another taste and see what it tastes like. Uh, there's a guy I watch on YouTube, Greg, Greg Beer Reviews. He always lets it sit out for a little bit, and then he comes back and does a final chug. Um, I don't think I'm going to chug this, but uh, give it a final taste, and I'll give you the verdict on this beer. It's really good. I really do like this. I like the fresh jalapeno. It doesn't taste artificial jalapeno at all. Um, I've had a couple watermelon beers, and they tasted just artificially watermelon. It's just gross. It was horrible. They ruined perfect good beers with adding artificial flavor to it. And I don't get this in this case. I can tell that this was brewed with fresh jalapenos. It definitely tastes fresh. The beer tastes fresh. The IPA tastes fresh. It's a, it's a good beer. I would give this um, an A. That's what I give this beer an A, so 90 points. I give it 90 out of 100. I, I really do like this, really enjoy it, and let's chug it out. Really good beer. Really enjoy that. Really tasty. Got some spice notes from it. Definitely could taste some of the jalapeno. Really enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Please like, subscribe to the channel if you like what I do. And uh, I look forward to some pod reviews coming up. See you soon.